Do you have pain in your butt that kind of reaches around to the front, maybe to the genital area, maybe a general tightness? We are going to be talking about the pudendal nerve because that may be playing a role in the pain that you're experiencing here. And that it's not often pain. It's more of a discomfort or a feeling of pressure inside the pelvis or abdomen. The pudendal nerve is a major player through the pelvic floor. It originates at, it is a sacral nerve, so it originates right back here, these spinal nerves, or these sacral nerves coming out of here, out of the lower portion of the cauda equina. So spinal cord ends up here, comes down, it actually branches out into this horse's tail of nerves, and the pudendal nerve is actually going to come down and around, and it actually loops around to the front. Another view of this, is going to be like this. This is going to have the muscular placement and obviously some other features that are on an actual body. This is a ligament that holds the pelvis together. But the manual interaction for this, so hands-on, you're going to need a partner for this. Uh, the focus is not going to be down. Obviously, there is a lot of muscle over this area, gluteus maximus being the biggest one. Um, but it's not going to be a pushing down into it. And that's part of the reason we're using the skeletal model here is that you're going to be able to feel these bony prominences as you kind of poke around. Now, if you need to be able to find this in particular, you actually just lift this leg up. And as you tilt the leg back and forth, you will be able to identify this is called the trochanter of the femur. And that's going to give you a nice solid landmark to work from. Now, from there, to interact with the pudendal nerve, you're going to come down onto the glute and you're going to push in toward the edge of the sacrum. It may take some trial and error, but you're going to feel this as sort of a dull, hopefully pleasurable sensation. It's kind of a good pain, a good ache. Uh, that kind of reaches around to the front because that is how this nerve pathway travels. And all you're going to do is either hold pressure or do something I call attachment walking where you're actually going to come up onto here and just do some small circular motions. You can also do a static push where you're going to push, you're going to feel like you're going to push them off of the surface that they're laying on. Now, once you've done that and you've kind of pinpointed what's going on, then you can come in with some of that more downward and in kind of pressure. And you're going to be surprised at how far you can actually interact in this area.